This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a Bedur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Today, with Ricardas, we're starting on our long awaited project, Model 3. Let me show you how it looks on the button. See the minimum and maximum somewhere? So 3.1 and 3.4 Before, like one week uh, ago when we've been checking, it was different values So definitely can be some water inside And the isolation resistance is quite low Very. Showing 20 kilo ohms at the moment So we never took down the battery in the Model 3 you just uh, read the instruction that uh, need to uh, take off all the seats and assemble uh, interior in order to take down the battery. So let's start. So open the first uh, part, it looks very interesting, but we don't see any uh, water or watermark so far, everything looks pretty clean and dry. Extra five kilos ground, unnecessary weight. It's connected a lot of cables in the front, in the middle, in the back. Preparing to take down battery. Battery down, some moisture. Here, Flintstone car. Situation inside not so good. As much I can see is rust and water. Hello, this is our model 3 that we took off, uh, took out the battery actually. Unfortunately, we are very uh, unlucky and the battery has uh, quite big damage. Uh, you've seen it maybe in the previous videos. Uh, so what, uh, let me switch the camera. So what we're gonna do today, we are gonna open the cover of the battery to inspect uh, what's uh, happened inside how big damage is uh, i don't know if it's gonna be actually possible to to fix it but uh, we are very curious to see uh, what's inside it and uh, how the uh, system is built so and the uh, view what we found is really not uh, promising here it's separate part so everything is uh, sealed not together with battery but uh, here is is completely uh, how to say damage so if somebody were worrying so we took the all the precautions and done the work safely so the now we're gonna leave the battery to rest for some time until it's gonna be completely dry and there will be no 
danger to, to disassemble it. Looking at the battery with the thermo camera, I was a little bit afraid that uh, cells are in short circuit and started to uh, warm up, but um, I think the main reason is because uh, we tried to dry the battery through those inspection holes for a few days, so that's why the temperature is slightly higher, 24-25 degrees. And it's uh, uh, how to say it's a little bit different than the rest of the battery. Yeah, it's hard to focus this camera, but uh, yeah, 24. I think it's it's because of that. Connected the uh, battery. The um, yeah, total voltage 158. Oh, sorry, because probably the uh, fuse is disconnected. 2.61 uh, voltage delta for models, and the difference is uh, actually critical. 2 volt and uh, the highest. 4.6 so it would be interesting to find out which is this actually model um, model 4 oh look the voltage has come back to normal <laughs> but uh, sorry uh, voltage back voltage delta is still 286 very very interesting by hotel M4 is actually the one closest to me. So M4 is actually this one. Another live data, what can be interesting. Minimum, maximum. Uh, BMS active heating board, no. Charge power available. Open contactors. Isolation resistance. Enough power to drive? No. BMS status fault, of course. Yeah, interesting. Gear is changing. BMS energy buffer. BMS have energy in the remaining. Yeah. Yeah, it's because the, there is uh, not a good connection somewhere on the battery cells, so it's always recalculating the values yeah from here looks pretty good so 3.2 minimum and 3.49 is the maximum 